Okay, here we are, <laughs> five by five, five at five. I'm Jay Fidel. I'm here in our studio in downtown Honolulu, and guess what? We have a live connection with the World Conservation Congress, namely in the form uh, of Anru Hiddle, and she is our correspondent today, and uh, she is reporting from the floor of the convention center um, just uh, across town to tell us what's going on at the conference. We haven't seen it yet. Today's the first day. I'm so excited. Give us a report, Anu. Hi, Jay. Aloha. How are you? Good. So I'm here at the conference center, the convention center, and we had we all got bussed over to the uh, Neil Blaisdell Center where we have the opening ceremonies. This was day one of a very exciting Congress. 9,000 people, all kinds of dignitaries as well as students and uh, nobodies like me. And uh, we also had a very inspiring day. So even though people were hoping that President Obama would make it here, uh, he didn't because he was actually doing something much more useful and much more exciting, which is he was uh, dedicating the announcement, uh, following up on his announcement of expanding Papahanaumokuakea Marine National Monument uh, to four times its size. It was, of course, dedicated in 2006 by George W. Bush. And so this is a truly bipartisan effort, which is wonderful. That's the kind of thing we need for conservation. We need both parties and everybody pulling together. That was the message we heard today throughout the day. We did hear from Governor Ige and a few other folks. But first, let me just mention, what is this thing that I'm at? It's the conservation, it's, a, it's the World Conservation Congress. And I liken that to the Olympics. So it's an event that happens every four years, just like the summer or winter Olympics. And um, you know how there is an uh, there's an international Olympic com committee that plans the event. And just like that, there is an organization here and it's called the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, the IUCN. So that's like the Olympic Committee. And uh, they are based in Switzerland and you might think, oh, well, you know, here we have something that has a lot of fat because it's based in Switzerland and there may be some, but I think really what it does, it, it uh, brings about some on the ground action. And so, for example, what's been happening here in Hawaii is uh, the law students, for example, at uh, the University of Hawaii Manoa uh, Richardson School of Law, they've been working together to put together a moot court, uh, taking, um, putting a question to the International Court of Justice. All of this, of course, a uh, pretend court for those of you who don't know what a moot court is. Um, and the students from six different law schools around the world have come to plead the case that nation states have a responsibility under international law to uh, address cl the climate crisis for future and present generations. And so they were arguing on behalf of different, um, different groups of countries. So that was something that happened on the ground today at the Hawaii Supreme Court. Very exciting for the students and very exciting for all of us who were looking. I don't know what the outcome was because I had to come here to talk about this five at five. Um, five minutes and hopefully um, we'll do another update tomorrow with one of the students. So um, if there's anything else, a quick question, I can give you another few seconds. Sure. Uh, Anu, uh, you know, what, what's the crowd like? Uh, have you met people? Uh, what's your sense of who's there and what are they seeking? Yes, I'm so glad you asked because I've been, while we were waiting in line to get into Neil Blaisdell, um, I went around and I said good morning to everybody in various different languages and that was wonderful in French, in Hindi, in uh, Spanish because people are here from all continents. There are 9,000 people attending. They're very excited and I did take some testimonials from them. So uh, mm. we'll be showing that on the 6th of September. But uh, it, you can also follow that uh, on Twitter on my account at Anu underscore mm -hmm. or at the ThinkTech um, account which is which is being retweeted so you can follow me all day long and we'll follow you every we'll follow you every day while the conference is going on uh, you'll be reporting to us for five minutes at 5 p.m. every day uh, continuing tomorrow and then Tuesday after Labor Day and so forth uh, through the week what are your expectations uh, how is this going to unfold what's the uh, what's the agenda like from now till the end 
Well, there will be, um, first of all, there will be what's the Olympics, right? And so this is really the Olympics and then it's got an elections attached to it. So, so we're, we've got everything all in one go here. So at the end of the events, which will be on the, they'll finish on the 5th. So there are various sessions and conferences, um, sort of workshops and so on. At the end of that, there will be an assembly, a members assembly. This is a really unique organization that, that shows democracy in action, really. And that's, uh, it's civil society, NGOs, government officials, all getting together and voting on motions that have been um, proposed for everything from banning domestic markets uh, with, um, of elephant ivory to establishing a climate change resiliency plan around the Pacific. So this is really going to shape the global conservation agenda for the next several decades. Fabulous. And we're here. We're here with you. We yes. look forward to tomorrow again at five, five minutes at five, uh, with Anu Hiddel uh, reporting to us from the Hawaii Convention Center. Thank you so much, Anu. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha.